Huge announcement from ChatGPT today. They have just announced a few hours ago, PT Search is here. As you can see, we're going to be testing it out today. And this could be really detrimental for Google. I'm going to come on to that later. I'll be comparing Perplexity versus ChatGPT and versus Google to show you which search engine looks the best from what I can see, plus what it means for businesses and SEOs in the future. You can see glimpses of it here. So for example, you can search for the weather. It can give you local searches and we're just going to crack right into it. By the way, you might be wondering, okay, does it work for everyone who's got access, etc.? So ChatGPT have announced on their website that search will be available at chatgpt.com as well as on desktop and mobile. All ChatGPT Plus and team users will get access to it as well as search GPT waitlist users who will get access today. However, for free users, it's coming over the next few months. I can assume that they're just rolling out as a beta and then it will come later to everyone else. And basically now you've got a search engine built inside chat, but it's using the power of AI. It's not just using like a basic Google search. So let's take a look at it inside. If you want to use a search option, it's called search the web right there. You just click on the globe and then from here you can start using the search. Now you can see a few trending searches as well. If we type in Google stocks, let's have a look what it pulls in. So it's searching the web, as you can see, it's got the current date. So this is feeding in like the most recent results. So you've got November the 1st, here's the prices. And you can actually see that the share price of Google is down 1.99% from the previous close. Now you can see here as well that it can pull in charts. So for example, it's referenced finance.yahoo.com and it's got these nice charts directly inside ChatGPT that showcases that's pulled in automatically. Now, the other thing about this is ChatGPT, I think to get more people using ChatGPT search are promoting and pushing this Chrome extension, which just out before, but I've never seen it promoted directly inside ChatGPT. And basically what this does is it recommends downloading the Chrome extension to switch your default search engine to ChatGPT, right? So they're trying to get people to switch directly from Google to ChatGPT for the default search engine. And if you click on get extension right here, then click on add Chrome. Think what that's going to do is change the search bar at the top to ChatGPT directly. So for example, if we go into the search bar now at the top, and obviously this is a way to get like millions or even billions more people using ChatGPT directly as a competitor to Google inside Chrome or any other browser they're using. So if we type in, for example, find me a restaurant in Bangkok, it's actually going to redirect to ChatGPT instead of using Google search. Then it searches the web and what you'll get back as a result is a map listing. All right. So if we put find me a restaurant in Bangkok, it gives you a nice clean UI with the maps and you can see here, okay, here are the local restaurants here. They are plotted around the city, etc. Now, one thing that I noticed about all of this is where's the ads? There's no ads, right? So for example, there's no spam. There's no Reddit showing up on the first page. It's just actually giving us the results instantly that we want. Now let's compare this side by side versus Google. And the other thing I would say here as well is like, look how easy it is for a local business to start getting search traffic to their site from ChatGPT directly. There's no spam, there's no ads, there's no Reddit, there's no user generated content like Google ranking on the first page, just actually answering the question in a useful way, which some people have not seen for years. Now, if we go onto Google and we'll compare the results side by side, and you know, this is above the fold for ChatGPT versus above the fold for Google. And what you can see here is like, this result from ChatGPT is just way more useful and valuable than this result from Google. Like you've got all these sponsored listings, you know, they could be trash. You just don't know. You don't really see any reviews, etc. cetera. Whereas if you look at the result from ChatGPT, this is actually much better for local businesses focusing on SEO. Like the links to the website are right there. You can call them, you can get directions, you can click on the website. Whereas unless you advertise directly on Google, unless you're paying money directly to Google, then it's going to be much harder for you to get a click because people, most people just click on these results rather than scrolling all the way past the four sponsored results and then going down here. And additionally, if you look at the places section, there's no direct button to the website. So what you literally have to do is like click on that. And then you have to click on a business listing to actually get a click through to your website. Right Now that's just one example of local search. We'll come on to many others in a second, but I would genuinely say if I was a local business and I had a choice between people finding me on Google or people finding me on ChatGPT, 
I'm probably going to go with ChatGPT. And if I was a user as well, and I had a choice between Google and ChatGPT, I would rather use ChatGPT to find that information than Google, right? This is way more useful. This gives me the answers, gives me the reviews, gives me the link to call the website straight away. Whereas on Google, I've got to scroll through all the ads, all the spam, all the trash. Go to the places, figure out which one I want, then click on an option, and it's just a lot more time consuming. The UI is just not as useful. Now, I think most people realize this already, but obviously ChatGPT search is a direct threat to Google. And Google's never really faced this level of competition before. So for example, now I don't know whether this has impacted the shares instantly because ChatGPT search was just announced a few hours ago. But what you can see is that Google's share price has plummeted by 2%, which might not seem a lot, but you can imagine how much money that actually equates to for the business in terms of its valuation. Additionally, I don't know whether that's a direct impact of ChatGPT search being announced, but I can only imagine more competition and more serious competition from a search engine that actually has billions of people using it already, aka ChatGPT, is a direct threat and a direct threat to the share price of Google too. Now let's start a new search on ChatGPT. We'll click on search again, search the web. I think you can actually change this so that it's automatically switched on by default. But if we click on search the web, and we're just going to see from my previous experiments, what's ranking already, what's working. So we're going to go with a keyword like, for example, SEO training Honiton that I ranked directly on Google for a couple of weeks ago. Let's go into Google and we'll have a look. So you can see, for example, previously, what she did was create a video and a blog post for the keyword SEO training Honiton with AI. And those were ranked pretty well on Google, as you can see right here, here and here. Right, YouTube and my website. Now, if we go directly into ChatGPT, the same methods are still working, right? So if you're an SEO, if you're a website trying to get more traffic and you're wondering, okay, what's changed? What do I need to change in my strategy? Let's have a look. So you can see directly inside ChatGPT search, I'm ranking number one here and it's actually linking out to my website. So it seems to prioritize websites at first and it basically recommends me inside the answers. Then it recommends my website and it's sending traffic there. And additionally, if we scroll down, it's also sourced the AI generated video that I created for this keyword inside ChatGPT as well, right? And so if you want to rank directly inside ChatGPT search, YouTube and your website are two of the most important channels to utilize. What I will say, and this is interesting, is that UGC doesn't seem to be ranking as well. As an example of that, if we go for this keyword, you can see my Twitter post, which is user generated content ranking on the first page and my LinkedIn post as well. So these two user generated websites that Google tends to favor, I would honestly much prefer that Google ranked my actual websites, not user generated content. Whereas if we go inside ChatGPT, what you can see from the search results is that there's no Reddit, there's no LinkedIn, there's no Twitter, etc. which I think is great because that's the way the search should be, right? It should be linking directly to website. It shouldn't be linking to low value social media posts. And so, so there's a couple of things here that I think are really useful. The other thing I would say, if you look at the search game and you look at how it's going to change over the next few years, it's certainly going to be more about getting brand mentions than it is about actually getting the click through to your website. So previously, for example, people would search, then they go to your website, then they buy, right? That was the old model. Now the new model is people go to AI, they see brand mentions, and then they're going to go to your website, right? So. The website is really the last stage of the process, whereas previously people go direct to your site from search engine. I genuinely think there will be less traffic to websites because for example, if you scroll down to the search results here, it's much easier to click a link and it's much more obvious. Like if you look at the real estate that this takes up, whereas inside ChatGPT, it gives you the answers directly. And then there's just a tiny little button to click on that website. So it looks like the actual number of clicks you would get would drop down, but the actual number of conversions you would get once people actually click through to your website would increase if that makes sense. That's just a theory, not proven yet. We've not got any case study data. Sam Altman, the actual CEO of ChatGPT, actually stated that search is his favorite feature launching in ChatGPT since the original launch, which is a pretty big statement if you ask me. It's also that this announcement was made about Google search and Logan Kilpatrick actually said, say hello to grounding with Google search available in the Gemini API and Google AI Studio. You can now access real-time, fresh, up-to-date information from Google when building with Gemini. Pretty nice, right? And that was announced at 12 a.m., November the 1st. So you can see the announcement right here. 
And what's interesting about this is that at 12.01 a.m., November the 1st, ChatGPT announced ChatGPT search. And so like literally one minute later, after the announcement from Google, ChatGPT came in, swooped in and got the spotlight, as you can see right here. And it's trending directly in ChatGPT. Probably some of the biggest news to come to SEO and the world of search this year. Now let's compare Perplexity, which is another AI search engine that kind of rivals ChatGPT. And we can see, okay, what's the difference? Which one would probably win in terms of usability and UI, etc.? And we'll plug these into ChatGPT and Perplexity. So we've got search enabled over here. We'll plug that in and we'll plug that into Perplexity as well. We'll give Perplexity the, the head start when it comes to the search. You can see that actually ChatGPT generates results much faster than Perplexity, right? The content generated, the response times, etc., seem to be a lot faster inside ChatGPT versus Perplexity. What you can also see here is that Perplexity tends to prioritize video and create slightly different results versus ChatGPT. So if we look at what's ranking inside ChatGPT, you can see here it's my website and then it puts a video right at the bottom. If you look at Perplexity's search results, it answers the question, so it does the brand mention at the start. It has tiny, tiny little links to the sources in case you wanted to get more traffic. So I actually think Perplexity has even less of a chance of sending traffic to you than ChatGPT. And also inside the search results here, you can see it has like a whole video section, but in terms of the sources, it's listed them in different order. So it's like site review, UK, YouTube, and then my website. If you look at ChatGPT, it's quite a different order. So it will recommend my website, then the videos at the bottom. But with both examples, YouTube videos and your website, super important. And again, both of these tend to cut out like user generated content from what I can see. There's no Reddit inside either of these search results, which is great. You know, you're not just going to a forum with like no comments on a question asked five years ago. The search results are super relevant and also it just gives you the answer quicker. Right? So for example, if we compare the answers from Perplexity, which you can see over here versus the answers from Google over here, what you can actually see is that uh, Google doesn't really give you the answers straight away. Right, so you have to actually click through to a website. Whereas inside Perplexity and ChatGPT, it will give you the answer straight off the bat. Now, if you look at things from a user's perspective, what they want is the answer and they want the answer fast. And so AI can do that a lot faster and a lot better than, for example, Google can. Let's do another example right here. So we'll put in what is SEO inside Google and it's going to generate an AI overviews option, which is kind of like Google's version of AI search. But if you look at the quality of answers, I would say the answers side by side, pretty similar, to be honest with you. But Google's AI overviews has a lot more links. You can see there's a link there, 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 etc. Whereas inside ChatGPT, it doesn't tend to link out so much, right? So just going back to that theme of like getting less traffic, I can see that happening for sure. Now, there's no point going off hypotheticals, especially when I'm an SEO and I'm so close to this. But if we go into, say, Reddit, for example, and we look at the responses to ChatGPT and AI so far, what we can see here is that actually a lot of people are saying it's really good. So for example, you can see this response. It's actually pretty good. Like no Google search, spam ads, zero Reddit links, site sources nicely, not focusing on only big names. That's a big thing as well. So for example, if you look at Google, it tends to push a lot of traffic to really big domains. Like we've all seen how much traffic Forbes has gotten over the last 12 months and how much traffic Reddit's got over the last 12 months. Whereas from what I've seen, ChatGPT will link out to websites that are not massive. Like for example, you've seen with my own site. Some people are saying as well, they're on the free plan and they can use search GPT already. But yeah, a lot of people are in agreement, like no ads or forum results. That's what people like. So thanks so much for watching. We've broken down ChatGPT today, what it means for the future of search, what it means for Google. I've shown you Google's share price and how that's changed dramatically, even just in the space of 24 hours. We've walked through how potentially websites could get less clicks in the future because ChatGPT tends to link out less to other websites. But if you focus on brand mentions, that tends to be a good strategy. And also you can see how there's less Reddit and there's less ads involvement inside ChatGPT, but YouTube, actual real websites tend to rank better. And it's not necessarily just linking to the biggest authorities, which I think is great news for websites too. Additionally, we've compared ChatGPT versus Google, and you can see quite often ChatGPT search provides a better user experience, the same with Plexi versus Google, and gives more direct, faster answers, which I think could be the biggest threat and the biggest reason why more people potentially could use ChatGPT and favor that search over Google. So thanks so much for watching. So if you want to get my free course that comes with over 200 ChatGPT prompts, tips, workflows, and tutorials, 
feel free to get that links in the comments and description to the free SEO course. There's tons of amazing stuff in there if you want to get more SEO traffic to your website and get more customers. And additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month, generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, or answer any questions you have one-to-one -one about SEO. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, how to quickly outrank your competitors for link building, and how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to book there and appreciate watching. See you on the next one.